که تو مرهم موسیقی And there are two ways to pray Before I decree one praise The normal service And need not disguise the prayers But after, but after I decree the prayers Must be disguised So that the angels all of the left side Do not understand And probably are secute This is alluded to in the verdict is it, The verdict is a decree of the angels Oy that, oy that that is After the, after the decree Then the only ones The, the whole, then the holy one ones petition with words. That is, the Siddiqim disguise their petition in ordinary speech. But how do we know whether it is before a decree or after it? By way of the mitzvahs, by way of the mitzvahs that we do, we can know whether it is before or after a decree. But this is only when we do the mitzvah, mitzvahs with such great joy that we have no desire for any reward in a future world. Oh, but all of me, one will want that God should send us another opportunity to do a mitzvah in reward for the mitzvah we have done. As the sages say, the reward for a mitzvah is a mitzvah for the mitzvah itself. Gives us so much pleasure. This is the difference between the prophecy of Moses and that of the other prophets. As Rashi, as Rashi says on the verse, Moses spoke to the ends of the tribes. This is what God has commanded. On the prophets prophesied by saying, God spoke like this, Come. Oh, whereas Moses prophesied by saying, this is the word, Zehadover, it corresponds to a cloudy glass, whereas Zehadover corresponds to a clear glass. These two aspects of prophecy are relevant to the service of God in general. There are those who fulfill a mitzvah in order to attain reward in the future world, but have no pleasure from the mitzvah itself. If such a person would not expect to be rewarded for it in the future world, he would not do it. This is the aspect of Koy, of a cloudy glass, just as someone sees something in the distance. This person fulfills the mitzvah for its reward in the distant future, that is, after this world. Such reward itself is referred to as prophecy. He have as alluded to the acronym of the verse, Yavoy Verino, no, he say, Alu, Moisov, Yavoy Verino, no, he say, Ali, Moisov. He will rejoice carrying his sheaves. The recompense of reward is alluded to. Oh, the recompense of reward is alluded to. In the verse, he goes along weeping, bearing a measure of seed. That he is, he is discomforted, doing the commandments. He will read your voice. In the future, carrying his sheaves, receiving his reward, the acronym of Yavoy Verino, Nohoi Sayali Moisav, is Novie Prophet. But a prophet who prophesies with Zehat Dover, who seeks no reward for the mitzvahs, but wants only the mitzvah itself, because, because he is so happy to do the mitzvah that he loves, any type of reward his future world is thus contained within the mitzvah itself, that this type of prophecy of recompense, or of, re, of reward, or of recompense of reward, is an aspect of Zehat Dover, of a clear glass. He's like a person who sees something, of 
Chicago Baba Klaus Seeing it very clearly and distinctly similarly He enjoys the mitzvah itself And his reward is right before his eyes Someone who is at this level Of performing a mitzvah with such great joy That he desires no reward in the future world For it such a person can know Whether it is, whether it is before a decree or after it For the mitzvah For the mitzvahs are a complete spiritual systemic for the mitzvahs are a complete spiritual systemic structure and sustain all spiritual systemic structures the human system structure the spatial system structure and the temporal system structure for space time and soul all receive their sustenance from the mitzvahs as the, as the verse says all his works are done with faith and all your mitzvahs are faith and God is a simple oneness all his works are done with faith and all your mitzvahs are faith and God is a simple oneness we get the mitzvahs so that when God's works are properly oh, so that when God's works are properly then God rejoices and delights in them as the verse says God rejoices in his works and is like a craftsman who makes a vessel if the vessel comes out nice he delights in it now God's joy is disguised within the mitzvahs for they are one with him and whoever performs a mitzvah with joy for the mitzvah itself by entering into the joy of the mitzvah enters into the joy enters into the joy of God who rejoices Rejoices in his works. This is an aspect of Israel will rejoice in their Maker. Hence, when there is an hence when there is any pain or judgment in space, time, or soul, God's joy is then certainly diminished, as in God was saddened. And as the sages say, when a person has a headache, what does the, the, the divine presence say? My head hurts me. Now, the person who is able to enter into this joy can certainly know by the nature of the joy. Whether it whether it is prior, whether it is prior to a decree or afterwards, and can also know regarding which part of the system structure the decree was passed, based upon his knowledge of the structure of the mitzvahs. For instance, if he is unable to perform the hands of the mitzvah of the mitzvahs with joy, that he is, or for a instance. Ich <laughs> And can also know regarding which part of the system structure the decree was passed based upon his knowledge of the structure of the mitzvahs. For instance, if he is unable to perform the heads of the mitzvahs with joy, that is, those mitzvahs related to the head, he will know that the decree was passed regarding the heads of space, time, and soul, and similarly, regarding the other parts of the structure of the mitzvahs. Nach, nach, man, man. This mechi ve malchis. This is what of our sages meant. Remember the Shabbos from the first day of the week. That is, one should experience the joy and pleasure of the future world, which is an aspect of the Shabbos during the six days of the week, which are an aspect of the mitzvahs through which space, time, and soul were created. This is also alluded to in the verse. Pay him on his day of work, meaning that one should experience reward for the mitzvahs themselves and do not let the sun set upon it. Meaning that one should not do the mitzvahs for reward in the future world, which comes after the setting of one's sun after one's death. Now the essence of joy is in the heart. As the verse says, you set joy in my heart. And it is impossible for the heart to rejoice until one removes the crookedness in one's heart. Meaning that one should have an upright heart. Only then can one attain joy. As the verse says, the upright of heart have joy. Now the crookedness of the heart 
is straightened by thunder. As the sages say, thunder was only created to straighten out the crookedness of the hearts. And thunder corresponds to the sound a person makes when he prays forcefully, which is what creates thunder. For it says in the Zoya, when a sound goes out and shakes up praying clouds, a sound is heard by people, and these are the thunders. Now the essence of thunder is Gevurois smite. As the verse says, who can fathom the thunder of his Gevurois, which is why we recite a blessing for thunder, whose power and Gevurois fill the world. Gevurois then corresponds to the strength and might with which a person calls out with great force, emitting a sound that strikes the rain clouds, which represents the mind from where fluids drip, as the Zoyer states, a well of living water, dripping from Le Lebanon, the one drip, dripping from Le Lebanon, dripping from Lebanon, from the Vonoin. I from the libuna with white of the brain, and when this strikes the rain clouds, a sound is heard by people, which is an aspect of thunder. And as alluded to in the verse, the sound of your thunder is in the atmospheres, in the sphere atmosphere, an allusion to the sphere of the brain. So when this strikes the sphere of the brain, a sound of thunder is created. And this is heard by people, this is alluded to in the verse. My mouth will speak wisdom, which means that the speech that emerges from my mouth strikes wisdom, which is the sphere of the brain which causes, as the verse concludes, the thoughts of my heart, since the heart is aroused by the thunder. As the sages say, the voice nurtures focused attention. This is alluded to in the words of our sages, the words of whoever possesses all of God are heard. Since the voice of whoever possesses all becomes thunder. This is because thunder comes from the aspect of Isaac. As the verse says, the thunder of his Gvurois, Isaac represents Gvurois. Which is why this person's words are heard. The sound is heard by people. For being heard is dependent upon this. As the verse says. Oh God, I heard your message and I feared. Fear is associated with Gvurois. This is the meaning of mighty warriors who carry out his word. Hearing the voice of his word. On which the Zoyer comments. Who merits hearing sounds from above. That is since Gvurois creates thunder. Which causes the heart to hear. Which is the thoughts of my heart heart is understanding, and as written you gave your servants a heart that hears, therefore one's words are heard by people, which is hearing the voice of his word. This is also an aspect of the sound of the shoifer, the shoifer of the ram, the ram of Isaac, an aspect of the thunder of his gvurois. This is alluded to in the verse, fortunate are, fortunate, fortunate are the people who know of the sound of the shoifer, who know that is that the sound strikes the brain mind, the rain clouds creating thunder. Hence, whoever hears the shofar blowing from a God-fearing person need not fear thunder for the whole year as we say, you revealed yourself to them. With thunder and lightning and appeared to them with the sound of the shofar. Meaning that on account of the sound of the shofar, God appeared to them in thunder and lightning. I was clear yet the woman. But what 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 one must clear the mind of foreign wisdoms and lewd thoughts of leaven thoughts of chametz that one not sour one's mind a mind with foreign wisdoms and lustful thoughts so that when one expresses one's voice and it strikes the brain mind it will create thunder for when the sphere of the brain mind is clogged with impurity as in you will become spiritually clogged one's voice is not heard.
One, one's verse is not heard. One must also guard one's fear from which the voice emerges. As the verse says, the thunder of his gehevu rois. That one's fear not be superficial. This is alluded to in the saying, if there is no wisdom, there is no fear. And if there is no fear, there is no wisdom. This is also the meaning of the sages teaching. The angel Gavriel descended and struck and stuck a reed in the scene. That is the descendants, the descent, corruption. al which is sp- sp- superficial fear, causes a reed to be stuck in the sea of wisdom. A, a, re- a reed refers to the voice that passes through the reed of the windpipe. This means that the corruption of Gavurois, which is the waste product of gold, the corruption, that this means that the corruption of Gavurois, which is the waste product of gold, superficial fear causes the voice to remain stuck in the clogged mind. And it's not heard by people, so the main thing is to protect one's mind from souring, from becoming comets. This is alluded to in the verse. Rebuke, rebuke the chayas kone, rebuke the chayas kone, the beast of the reed, as the Zoya states, break the kone reed, the leg of the letter ches, and transform it into the letter hey, thus transforming chametz into matzah. In other words, one should not allow one's wisdom to sour, the Hebrew word for rebuke also means to contend, for matzah also means contention. Contention for the Siddiquim contend with the forces of evil to prevent it from nearing the dwelling place of holiness. This means that when one guards one wisdom to prevent foreign wisdoms only from entering it and one refrains from indulging in lewd thoughts which are an aspect of the read of the forces of evil. Con- con- contraposing can they obtain wisdom and understanding of holiness? Yes, then one is safe from Chometz. Oh, they again, they again, one is saved from Chametz, which comes from the realm of death, as it is stated, Machmetzes is the realm of death, the letters surrounding the word Chametz spell Mehes, death. And no, all the strife and contention between the truth that they came is only in order to banish the evil forces. This is the meaning of the verse, an ear that listens to the rebuke of life. Talin will dwell among the wise. Talin, in the sense of Tluna, complaining, contention. Oh, the was the verse is saying when you hear the contention between Sadiqim, know that you are thereby being given rebuke for having spiritually harmed the drops of fluid in your brain mind, regarding which the verse says, All those who enter it will not return and not attain the paths of life, for one becomes attached to the realm of death, an aspect of Chametz, an aspect of Gavriel descending, and no, the reason is that a reed was stuck. That is, that foreign wisdoms are stuck in the sea of your wisdom. For surely, if not for the fact that your mind was blemished, you would not have heard about the contention among the tzaddikim. The contention is, in fact, only for you, so that you return from death to life, from chamehitz to matzo, from ches to hey, from destructive fear, from a blemished voice and blemished wisdom, to constructive fear, to a wholesome voice. Oh, from destructive fear, from a blemished voice and blemished wisdom, to constructive fear, to a wholesome voice and to wholesome to construct a fear to a wholesome voice and to a wholesome wisdom and then when you guard your mind with from comments so that it does not become clogged your voice will strike the sphere of your brain and mind it does not become clogged of your brain mind and create thunder the straightening out the crookedness that is in your heart and then you will attain joy as in the upright of heart of joy and the this is the meaning of I will answer you with thunder and secrecy. I will test you with waters of contention. Sela, waters of contention is an aspect of matzah, an aspect of the mind, and this creates thunder. Nah, 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 n
Kahan Mask Bagevu Rais Harshness with the Chasadim Kahainess The left with the right as the verse says, with Gevurois he will bring salvation. With his right hand for divine manifestation is mainly through kindness as in. Sit by my right side when was also by love with fear in order to create thunder. This comes from the right side, from the Yav aspect of the brain that is white as silver. This is alluded to in the verse. The sea returned from before the dawn to its strength. The sea is the sea of wisdom. The dawn is the dawn of Abraham, corresponding to Abraham, my beloved. Oh, yeah, and its strength is the Gavura, is corresponding to the sound of your thunder, is in the atmospheres, in this sphere. This is the meaning of many waters are unable to, to douse the love, for Gavura is are expressed mainly through love. As the verse said, sleep on my right side, and this is the meaning of God of glory thunders. God is kindness, glory is wisdom. As the verse says, the wise will inherit glory. And thunder is the Gevurois, that is Gevurois, which are an aspect of thunder, must be combined with love, so that they strike the glory and aspect of wisdom, so that thunder is created to overcome one's enemies, as in, sit by my right side until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Oh, this is alluded to in what Rabbi Baba Chano said. I was one. Traveling on a Sfino a ship, Nach Nachmo Nachma Meyuman. Oi, yet it took the ship three days and three nights to travel from Shitzo to Shitzo. They had a they had fin to the tail fin, and it was going up upstream, and were and we were going downstream. Yeah, and if you think that the ship was not traveling fast. When Rabbi Dibi arrived, he said that it traveled 60 parcels, 70 kilometers, in the time it takes to boil a kettle of water. And when a parcel and a, an archman shot an arrow from the ship to the shore, the ship overtook the arrow. Ravashi said that it was a gil, that it was a gildenum, one of the small fishes of the sea. That has two fins. Sfina means something of importance, an aspect of Gevura fear of. As the verse says, of God is his treasure, for that is the most important thing. Shitsa means, means some distress. Shitsa means some distress, as in, I will, I will destroy them this minute, which the Targum translates as. Three days and three nights is an aspect of the mitzvahs in which are one rational laws, two ritual commandments, and three super rational statutes. And regarding which the verse says, yes, you shall study it day and night. Muskolois and the kubolois the chukois. Oh, it was going upstream and we were going downstream corresponds to God will rejoice in his work. God will rejoice in his works. Israel re will rejoice in its maker. Boiling a kettle of water. Oh, boiling a kettle of water. Ray first to the mammon. Be ye bobo holding a kettle of water refers to the mind brain as in flowing from Lebanon sixty parso refers to the Gvurais the Gvurais for there are sixty Gihi boilim Mama mighty warriors and to the thunder of oh, 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 oh. oh, and to the thunder of his Gvurais a parsha is an aspect of kindness for he brings hidden things out into the light since this word the word means that he peed things that are difficult to understand an arrow a loose to shoot your arrows and a man can found them which corresponds to sit by my right side until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet overtaking is an aspect of fear which comes first as the verse says 
The beginning of wisdom is fear. This all this is what Rabbi Baba Khan is saying. He had reached such a level of fear of God and saw its awesome power that he was thereby able to distinguish between before a decree and after a, a decree, between a shitsuts, etc. Then he explains how he was able to perceive this, the or to perceive this by way of the mitzvahs and aspect of three days, etc. But this is only when one does the mitzvahs with great joy for through the joy and performing the mitzvahs, one is able to know this is because God rejoices in his works and this joy is disguised within the mitzvahs while on the other hand we rejoice here on earth and God as a union Israel rejoices in its maker and want no other reward not even the reward of a future world this is it was going all upstream and we were going down on stream meaning that there is a correlation between God's Jehovah boy and our Jehovah boy and this is how we are able to know the difference then he explains how one can attain some of our Jehovah boy by way of the aspect of of thunder this thing is when Rav Yimi arrived he said that this it that it traveled 60 kilometers in the time it takes to boil a kettle of water which corresponds to the sound of your thunder in, in the sphere atmosphere 60 alludes to give a right, which strike the atmosphere the sphere atmosphere which causes thunder which is then heard this is an aspect of sound nurturing nurturing focused attention as in the thunder was only created to strengthen to straighten out the crookedness of the heart Parts. There again, oh, there, but then he says that the search of the Gvuro is harsh, is mainly by way of chasav, chasod, and kindness, and that the left side must be incorporated within the right side as above. But nevertheless, fear that is the left side must come first, for the other wonder searches after his lost property. As our sages say, it is customary for the man to search for a wife, just like a person who has lost something this means that, that this means that love of love is, is an aspect of the male and fear is an aspect of, of the female therefore female fear must come first for then love will automatically follow it for love always goes in search of fear for the owner always searches for his lost property I heard this directly from the Rebbe this is alluded to in a guild to know which contains the letters of the divine name of Abba Baba, of Aleph Gimel Lamed Aleph, I which represents Givurai, since it, it is the acronym of Ato Giboy Li Oilam Hashem, you are mighty forever, O God. And Gilda No also contains the entire name of Aleph Dalit Nun Yud. So this is the meaning of with trumpets and the sound of a shofar, etc. With the sound that emerges, the sea with thunder, for the sound had created thunder. As a yeah, and the sound of your thunder is the uh, in the atmosphere, in the sphere atmosphere. Say ye for the earth, and all its inhabitants refers to the, the heart and its arteries. He first to the heart and all, he had its arteries. As the sages say, yeah, thunder was only created to strengthen out, to straighten out the crookedness of the heart. Thunder was only created to straighten out the crookedness of the heart. For the letters of table are tov and leyive hearts. And tov means an impression, as it first says, inscribed an impression, which was made in the heart by the voice. As the sages say, yeah, thunder was only created, etc., thereby, or thereby rivers. All your rivers will clap their hands. And an aspect of joy, of the upright of heart, of joy, of the upright of heart, of joy, through this job of boy. Together mountains, Yerane, you know, we'll sing, praying. Rina means prayer, as we see from the verb of verse, to listen to the Rina and the prayer. Oh, mountains represent the Sabbath of the Kim. Nanak, Nak, Munak, may you mock. Thus, by the horns, when you join, you sing. They are able to pray with every way. Oh, yes, Mach is super. Nak, 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 Munak, 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 Munak,
by, disgu- by disguising their prayer in ordinary speech when they understand that a decree has already been passed. This is the meaning of together, that is, they are able to disguise their prayers together with stories. They are able to disguise their prayers together with stories. Lesson number six, the Rebbe's own words, God said to Moses, called Joshua. Oi! Each and every person God said to Moses, call Joshua. Each and every person must minimize his own honor and maximize the honor of God. For, for, any, any, one. for anyone who seeks honor will not attain God the honor, but only royal love honor. About which the verse says royal honor is to be analyzed. Everyone analyzes this person in the ass. Who will we see that he receives such honor? And they oppose him and say that he does not deserve it. However, someone who flees from honor, who minimizes his own honor, and maximizes the, uh, maximizes the honor of God. Such a person will attain God the honor, in which case people do not analyze whether or not he deserves the honor he receives. God is such a person who said the honor of God is to be concealed. For it is forbidden to analyze this honor, but it is impossible to attain this honor other than by way of repentance. Then the main element of repentance is to hear oneself being scorned and to, ma- and to maintain one's silence. Yidom yishtoik. Yidom, I think, means not to move. To be silence. Nina, nava.